Stan Jibalisco here to show you a digital communications transmitter and receiver for ultrasonic transmission of computerized digital signals. At A we have the transmitter, at B we have the receiver. These are just block diagrams and I'll describe how they work now. Your computer uh, generates something like a PSK31 or radio teletype signal with a program such as HamScope or Digipan, which you can download from the internet. Transmits this digital signal into a modem, which then modulates this uh, 30 kilohertz carrier wave, as it were. It's like a VLF carrier. Looks like a radio frequency transmitter so far, doesn't it? So far, it is identical. And so far, even here with the amplifier, it's still identical. But instead of an antenna, you connect to it an ultrasonic transducer, which produces ultrasonic waves that are modulated with this digital signal right here. That's A is the transmitter. At B, we have the receiver. The ultrasonic waves come in hit another ultrasonic transducer and then you have a very low frequency converter for your communications receiver so that you can tune these signals in on say one of the ham radio bands and then connect your terminal unit or modem to your computer and receive it just like it was a ham radio signal but really what you're doing is receiving an ultrasonic signal that is modulated with this digital data and it'll display on your computer just like it did on the transmitter computer and under ideal circumstances it'll display without errors. Unfortunately the propagation of ultrasound first of all only takes place at the speed of sound roughly 1100 feet per second at the sea level in the atmosphere of the earth. The sea level atmosphere of the Earth also has turbulence, which will introduce uh, a form of distortion and phase modulation quite a lot like what happens when a signal bounces off of the ionosphere in radio communication. It's, but it's a little bit more pronounced. It's almost like you get with aurora uh, communication that kind of a warbling sound, so it may be rather difficult to transmit over long distances with this, but this could make a great science fair experiment uh, for you kids out there who are ambitious and want to impress the people with your communications expertise. Tell them I sent you, Stan Gibalisco, proprietor and operator of Amateur Radio Station, W1GV. Until next time, good luck with these circuits if you want to try and build them. I'll leave the specifics of the designs up to you. You are the inventor after all, aren't you? Stan Jibalisco signing off for now. Until next time, so long.